episode 18. Hey guys, Tibbs on Tide here. Welcome to the 18th episode of The Ranking Show, where on this episode, we had a lot of smaller events to cover from this weekend. We had House of Pain 22, we had Canada Cup, we had GTX, which I'm very surprised with how little people kind of showed up to this, these two, because of how much uh, pot money was being put in. It's it's insane that it, Meds was the one who won this, and that... Uh, I was gonna, I thought I clicked over an S2J. Well, it makes sense that S2J came out for this, but the lack of high level talent at these two events feels really wild with how much money. And then because we have so little, even though it looks like we have a lot to talk about this weekend, um, we're going to briefly look at who's going to be in attendance at Genesis Black and M Mom uh, this weekend. I also may be doing stay tuned for on Twitter and Twitch, um, if. Uh, ba, 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 ba. if I'll be doing any coverage of these uh, stream coverage on the weekend I think most likely if I do anything it'll be a pregame show on Sunday kind of covering the the finals of both these because there is a decent amount of talent here uh, especially like I have uh, I don't have a huge uh, finger on the pulse of the inner workings of uh, New England but I mean from doing that video and from seeing that I have a little bit more in touch with that and then this video this uh, tournament obviously has really really great players like uh chillin' dude, and you know. As fat will win Genesis Black. <laughs> all right, all right. But let's let's circle on back. Well, we're going to start at House of Pain, I think, was the most exciting and the most stacked of these events. Unfortunate that I had a team kill between two guys I really like supporting. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, Lucky winning it over the amount of town here. Actually, winning out Moki seems a little wild. That seems actually really low for Moki. So that's his second loss to Morse Code now. Which, um, I don't think that that changes, like, any huge perception I have of Moki. Uh, maybe he has a Samus problem. Has Moki played, uh... I feel like I looked at this when he had the Morse code loss before. Has Mo Moki played Hugs? Is this his hug? Is this Hugs' path back in the top 100? How's he, get How's he against Sami? Samus's. Mm, hasn't played Hugs. Has he ever played Hugs? Because this is this is interesting question we got here. But I, I don't think that super changes my perception. It, it it makes it actually probably a little worse if if I'm being honest. Seeing that Moki like now that we're able to kind of think maybe Moki has a Samus problem. Maybe maybe something's going on with that. Um, Moki's lost him twice and only took a game. Okay, so that maybe Moki and because is there any good Samuses from Canada? I mean, there's, like, no good Samuses anymore. Because all we have is... We don't have Hugs. Duck switched over to another character. Plop switched over to another character. Yeah, we have no, we have no good Samuses. Oh, we've we've chillin' Samus. That's that's the only good Samus I can think of that's still active. Nia, thank you for the cheer. Oh, the swoop. Yeah, we have whoop diddy swoop and we have Goomy. So we, we have good Samuses, but we don't have, like, those big boy Samuses like we used to. The swoop. I forgot. I always forget about whoop diddy swoop um, But I didn't even, when I briefly looked over this before the show, I did not even notice that uh, Moki was here. That I was so surprised he finished fourth with his collection of people. But that's a great win for Spark, and that's a great win for Morse Code. So I'm very happy for my boys picking those up. Um... Lucky finishing first, not losing anyone. Morse getting second. Um, I don't know, and I was thinking about maybe to uh, looking more into this. A Dreffen win's really dope. Flo beating Fluid's cool. Um, beating Moki's really good. Beating Spark's really good. Shaved is untitled. Yeah, I it was it was getting to be too much. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shave it. The be the beard was a little little too much for me. It was I wanted to try it out because I never let it grow for more than like a week and a half before. I gave it like three weeks or a month, and I was like, nah, not my cup of tea. Mm. But yeah, I think this is an incredible tournament for Morse Code. Um, that's what I was going to say. I was going to look up what else Morse Code has done uh, so far this year. Billy Bo Peep. <laughs> you all right there, Daniel? It seems like your your message just kind of kind of gave up mid-message. Um, I didn't know Morse was a big uh, Project Dem guy. That's... Actually, I don't know how, I mean, I know very little about the Project M scene, but, like, these, I mean, beating Lod, getting to the point where you're currently, you're playing Thunder Reigns, I recognize that name at the very least. Also, it seems like he must have been primarily a Project M guy, 
uh, because that's listed on top of his thing. Maybe that's just like a Liquipedia kind of thing. Maybe it's by like age of tournament. But yeah, that's... I think that's pretty much... Yeah, Daniel, I... <laughs> yeah, all right, homie. It's like you're having trouble typing or uh, completing uh, coherent sentences. But yeah, I think... Uh, fail no shame November. <laughs> I did fail no shame November. Oops. Let me reset myself. But what I was saying, yeah, I think Morse code, because I was kind of iffy uh, before about his, <laughs> I was iffy before about him potentially breaking into the lower end of the top 100. But I think this tournament I pretty much seals it because he had those good wins, but we had that Moki win before. He gets a spark win. Uh, Billy Bo Peep will be at DreamHack and Ryan Ford. Thank you, Daniel. But I think with these extra wins, the Dreffen win, the Moki win, the Spark win, that's Morse code, Morse code gets in. Uh, we were talking about in the Melee Stats Discord server, well, briefly earlier today, someone was asking if he was going to make it. Um, and I said something to the effect that he, I think he has some bad losses. I don't know off the top of my head. But we kind of countered that with a very good point that everyone around this range is going to have like losses to Calm Master and like people like that. So it's not like the worst deal in the world. Casper Dow, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So I think that's that's really really dope uh, for Morse code and for so we'll have we'll have at least ones that well I think Hugs is still gonna make it. Speaking of that, what is what has Hugs got for the year besides that IBDW win? I don't think there's a world where Hugs doesn't go go off. Oh yeah, I also wanted to talk about that. I completely forgot about the the thousand person ranking. If someone can link that in the chat, I definitely want to talk about that at some point during uh, today. Uh, let me also make sure I turn off my email notifications for an hour. God, Hugs is a very, very consistently iffy color of uh, performances in here. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. Hugs, Hugs is going to make the top 100. I don't think I ever had a doubt of that for the year. As much, even as much as I love to rag on Hugs, um, I don't think there's ever a uh, doubt of that. No Streamlabs. Um, yeah, but with, with these amount of wins, he's good. I mean, with, like, the IBDW win, and like everything else, he's got wrinkled in here. Uh, wrinkled in here. I don't know why I said that. But, yeah. Pugs is still good for that. So we're going to have two Samuses on there. And I guess I guess Plup will be listed against him. Uh, well, I don't know, because his tournament where he played Samus, that's probably not... Excuse me, most people are probably not going to count those sets. Or consider them with a huge grain of salt. Um, yeah. But that really good tournament for that. Maybe of, I don't know how Spark is against Samus either. Genesis Seven will be a Smash Summit Nine qualifier. Probably they're like very very close to each other. If I remember correctly, they're like a couple weeks away. Hmm. I think overall probably taking a. I don't know how if Spark and Moki have played before. I feel so like. I know it's been only like a few weeks since the last major melee tournament, but I feel so much more out of touch than melee. Than I usually feel. It feels I don't know. I just haven't been able to watch Melee for a while. Um, hey Vampire, what's up? Oh, Casper, what? Uh, quick question. Um, should out of region events count for local rankings? I think that's 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 a kind of going to depend on place to place. I I'm not too familiar with the process of how a lot of places do local rankings, but I feel like that's that's like a very um, situational kind of question. Yeah, but I uh, regionals count, but not as much, right? That's yeah, that's a, a way to do it. I'm just again, I'm not. I'm speaking from like very little experience of like what goes into making local kind of rankings and stuff like that. Hmm. What was I talking about? A Moki and Spark. Yeah, but I was also kind of yeah. So they they've only played once this year. Um. But I was saying, I feel like, I don't know if anyone uh, can also echo this sentiment, because I guess I also haven't watched Melee the, like, the last two weeks, and that's probably a, a expediating that feeling of like being out of touch after like not watching it a little bit. And like that's furthered by the fact um, that like my side job where I write Ultimate videos, I've been like focusing on that a bit because I need to make money to pay rent. So my, my, uh, my head has kind of been in there. Um, yeah. Thanks, Casper. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a better answer, because it's not really my my forte, my cup of tea. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I think overall, probably... I think he pro Spark probably gains more than he loses from this, especially with how many people have, like, iffy losses in this kind of area. And uh, sweeping everyone else is really, really good. I think that more speaks to how good Morse code is that... Uh, and Moki, too. Well, everyone already knew. A uh, tweak will in Glee... Glee Daniel, you're just having a you're having a rough day, man. Yeah, I don't I don't know about ultimate stuff. Oh, wait, glitch six is like next year. Are you, Daniel? Are you okay? I'm very concerned for your well being. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I think this is generally uh generally uh, a good tournament for Spark. Like. Uh, I mean, I hope it is, because it, it'll ruin the storyline for the Rising Player Spotlight for him. Um, hey, Livingstone. Rascal, what's good? Yeah, Daniel, I think you need the... I'm tempted to not, for for your own well-being, time you out, Daniel. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I gotta specify from Daniel. So Daniel would be Daniel's son and then Daniel. That'll make it easier. Yeah. Also, sorry, I feel like I'm also coming off as a little bit out of it as well. I feel a little iffy-ish from, uh, what do you call it? If I, I don't know if I'm coming off that stream. I guess it's been, like, five days since I streamed, so I have to get back into the rhythm and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, Rascal, definitely. I'm gonna, uh, as, as per tradition now, I'm definitely going to be playing Melee after. Ping Pong rankings? If I didn't see any of the ping pong at uh, Ultimate Summit, but I'm going to imagine that Armada was very good. Uh, yeah. What else do you have to talk about this weekend? I know Rear Beat. Oh, Casper Dow, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Hell yeah. That's a that's a save W for me. Um, I, I saw Rear Beat tweeting a lot about his performance this weekend. Got to win over Jake and Shake, and that's pretty good. Um, and a really almost beat Lucky. That would have been really, really good. I don't know what how Rio Beats campaign is looking for top one hundred this year. A lucky win would have helped tremendously. Yeah, I'm trying to see if he is top one hundred. Has that West Balls win? I know there's a bit of an asterisk because uh West West had like a thumb injury there. A prof win is actually really, really good. Prof win Tyrant as a win. It's really, really I, 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 I don't know how good O'Reilly is. O'Reilly's one of those those players. I, I talked about it in the uh, the Kevin Maples video today. He's one of those video. He's one of those guys where I recognize the name, but I couldn't tell you anything about how they play at all. Like I'll be like, oh, really? It's a person. Okay, so oh yeah, just a bunch of Midwest players. Yeah, that, there you go with like Morse code having if he wins. Yeah, I don't. O'Reilly's probably. Hmm. Oh, really is nutty. The Delta Rome, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Guys, thank you for all the Twitch Primes today. Hell yeah. Oh, there's the melee rank thing. I'm definitely going to look at that later. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to pull this up and I can complain about how dumb this is later. Twitch Primes are sick. Anything to support the channel is always super dope, guys. I, I appreciate everything immensely. Oh, I did not remember that, Delta. Thank you for sticking to your promise, because I would have remembered. I'd be like, ah, cool. Delta's here again. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, this thing is an absolute catastrophe. But we will... <laughs> rankings with a high uncertainty should not be trusted. This whole ranking system should not be trusted. Let me... I believe, if anyone's looking for any, any material... There we go. Rankers. Oh, ranking rankings. Are we going to go that meta? We're going to rank. Who ranks the rankers? Any any rankers in the chat? <laughs> Billy top 70 on this. Dude, what's the solo battle? Yeah, solo battle's like 25. Dude, I think Sechi made a tweet about this. Stango's 24 because everyone in around in like this part of Tri-State sucks. Aspen Page isn't banned. Santi's probably about right. Um... Someone is, like, really dumb high. Like, Mewtwo King's dumb high, isn't he? No, Mewtwo King's actually kind of low. <laughs> Solo Battle is a European uh, puff player who had, uh, I forget, Syndicate last week. Look for Ice. Oh, ew. Ew. <laughs> ew. I was getting ready to click the down button to find him. Why is... What are you doing up here? Get down from there, Ice. 
who else is this feeling weird? Kevin Maples, that's probably a little high. Kevin's probably going to be like in this. Actually, maybe. I don't know how this area is going to gonna pull out, but Kevin may be a little high. Foxy Grandpa. Hugs is probably a little low. Hugs is, yeah, is a little low. Bananas is way too. Where's bananas? God, I, I didn't look too too much into this list because I knew it was just going to upset me. Can I not spell hello? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Why will, why can't I find bananas? 50, whoa, that's real low. Look at Amsa, where's Amsa? 12? Oh my goodness. Bobby, even, even on this ranking, Bobby didn't make top 100. That's so sad. Oh yeah, for so for those of you who haven't heard about this, I don't know how this. Thankfully, it got past you. And I'm sorry, I'm bringing this into your life. Um, but someone made, I believe they just pulled matches from Smash DG and made a thousand person ranking. Pricing is forty first. A lot of thirteenth isn't like for a list like this. This makes a whole lot of sense. Chudad is in top thirty, dude. Chud, where is Chudad? God, this list is so f goddamn big. Chewed at 30 what is 31. <laughs> Six is 42. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, Triff is top 10. Okay, this is this is horrifying. Just like every time I feel like I found the worst result. You guys just keep on seeing someone in chat. Frenzy 50 is nuts. This is this this is a really good ranking for Europe. It looks like Johnny Fight, the Ices from Europe, is top one hundred. That's crazy. Cool Lime's top one hundred. Yeah, this list. Kage is sixty ninth. Okay, this list is kind of slaps. Morse code is way too low. Well, I guess this was before this weekend, but Morse code is too low. What a <laughs> swoopers all the way down here. Smuckers. Oh my god. What's the link for this? I'll post in the chat. Someone uh, had sent this earlier. God. Albert is higher than my case. Oh, Lord English. Shout out to the Homestuck. SFOP. God. Why is Vortex here? Why? What the hell? I didn't know Kevin Maples had a Vortex win. Oh, wait, he does. I made a video about it this week. I'm an absolute donkey. Charlie Cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> and in Mexico's all the way down here. Oh, what happened to Kale? I forgot you can click on it and see the results. Goodness gracious. You didn't make it on this? Actually, where's where's Project? Oh, Peanut Phobia. We're talking about Project. Is he on here? Jaeger Bomb Soldier. Always such a sick tag. Was Mango at four? Why does the search function not work on here? Oh, because it's searching the little matches within there. Top 500 project, baby. Let's go. Let's go project. Where's, um, Dawson? Where's the Philly boys? Okay. that That's good for me. Ginger's 30. I think he's a little younger than that. Heartstrings at 600. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look at meds, and then we're going to, I'll maybe come, I'll maybe come back to this in a little bit. Because, God, it this tickles me in the worst way possible. Um, I don't know, 49th. I don't know, I don't know, Hacks over Ginger, that's a, that's a take. Mr. Penis Man is going to go from... <laughs> oh, man. If only Hacks, if Hacks is DQs counted against him. He lost the tr when did it, that's probably a DQ. Yeah, I I don't know if he took out the DQs. I can't I I don't think Hacks is actually lost to a player named Charlie Brown. Wait, if if that is that is counted in here, then that means Charlie Brown is probably top 1000. Oh, Charlie Brown didn't make it. That's so is that, is that a croissant? Is that literally just a croissant? Juggle guy is on here? Who is Croissant beaten? Oh, Croissant lost to Mad Dot Zeb and Gumi. <laughs> oh, the 
that might be the sickest tag I've ever seen in my entire life. Spectre haunting Europe. That may be the sickest tag I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh god, now now it's everything's out of here. Look at Levin's losses. I got you. She's a fucking croissant. Oh, uh, I'm gonna drop my croissant. What's wrong with Lucky's losses? Am I stupid? Two losses that did he lose to X? Am I? See, I feel so out of touch with melee this year. I'm very confused. What am I looking for here? What's wrong with it? Oh well. Do you have the link? Uh, yeah, here it is. Oh, you got it. Josh got it. Uh, Doma, what's up? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more scroll. Nice. Get a get a war. I'm surprised. Get a war machine. So actually, who's ranked 420? That'd be so sick if he was, but obviously not. Prometheus. Oh, it only goes up to a thousand. There's no Mister Ten Thousand Jungle guys up here. Tim the guy. Stacy's stepdad holding it down for New England. MK Leo won Canada Cup. St oh, Stud made the list. Fat Penguin. Jolteon. Trillock is Mr. A Thousand. All right. Okay. We're we're going to we're going to we're going to god with a wave for god I love that tag. That's such a sick tag. Okay, we're going to we're going to go we're going to circle back to things that matter. If you haven't seen that list Wait, wait there's Weenie Hut seniors on there. God. Okay. I have, I have to get away from it. God, I I love to hate that list. Man, that's what I I, I would love to grind to make the top 1000. So many people probably have great Twitter bios now because of that. Um, no, I'm not the one who made that list. I wouldn't be stupid enough to, uh, well, it's a, it's a cool idea. It, as long as I don't know how he presented this in the Reddit thread, as long as he presented it as like, this is probably pretty dumb or like, this is like, this is a cool kind of project or idea to be like, Hey, if we use this system, this is what it'd work. But excuse me, uh, lucky one house of pain. We were kind of scrolling down a little bit. Um, where, where was I on the Rio Beat discussion? Yeah, so Rio Beat, Rio Beat is probably... He's probably in, like, the 85 to, like, 110 kind of range. It's a really hard, especially before we jump into the ballot, judging that the Prof win is really, really good, especially with how, uh, how good Prof has been doing lately. What did Prof... Did Prof win Syndicate? It's not going to be on here because no one cares about Europe, unfortunately. Yeah, Sylvie. Yeah, I want to look up Sylveon on Smogan. Thank you. I do have to. After this, I'm probably gonna. After the stream, I'm gonna jump over and play my uh, Pokemon League match. Hopefully, I'll continue being seven and zero. Yeah, Prof won this. So yeah, the Prof stocks are a little up now. Um. Hmm. Jake and Chicken stocks are definitely very, very down. Um. I think if if I am remembering correctly, he only really has good Fox wins. And as much as I'm up on Jake and Chicken, I've because he was one of the players that I was like, hey, this guy's cool, uh, kind of thing. But it seems like he he's only really uh, Prince of Boo wins good. But it's like Spacey, Spacey, H E. Yeah, he plays a Spacey. Uh, Dark Atma, I forget. Is he is chic? Yeah. So Spacey, Spacey, Puff, Spacey, Spacey, Spacey. Yeah, so a little, a little iffy. You wreck me in Gen One random battles? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, he's a she. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. I why don't I just click on it like a like a jackass? Yeah, Billy. I don't. What's what's Billy's results for the years? People are big up on Billy. Hey, Android, how you doing? What is what's our Billy's wins? He, oh yeah, I forgot. SJ win, Shroom win. Those are some good ass wins. Hmm. Yeah, Billy's probably when I was coming up with names to do the Rising Player Spotlight, uh, it was like Spark and Kevin Maples were my first two. Um, and the Spark one will be coming soon. Obviously, the Kevin Maples one came out today. If you haven't seen that, I believe does this command work? 
<laughs> yeah, it does. Cool. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, the video came out today. I'll make that Rising Player Spotlight on Saves Untitled once he uh, starts beating people other than... Well, once he starts going better than 1-2. Um, yeah, so... Uh, what, where was I going? I was talking about Ruby's potential for top 100. Said he was like 85 to 100. Um, no, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna mean to. Oh yeah, for croissant. Um, who else? Oh, Zamo losing the pop and Travioli seems like a low placement. Also for Boyd, odd uh, that he's down here. Um, Sloking. I think I did. He get any? Did he beat anyone? Wait, K Koyashi? Is this? Am I confusing Koyashi? Is he the? Uh, Ba 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 ba. He the Michigan Marth, or is there two different Koyashis? And I I feel like I'm I'm saying his name wrong again. Michigan. So that is him. Where do you end up with this tournament? Papa and Ben. Ooh, that's kind of rough. I forget what it, what his big wins were for the year. Well, I guess I can just check this on uh, like Wikipedia. I remember he did something pretty good going into the big house locks at Emex Kozamu. Am I going to play melee after the rankings? Yes, I will be. Um, yeah, after the, after the main show. La Luna versus Dream. Ooh. Hell yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so a lot of interesting players that are here. Oh, Bobby Frizz all the way down here. Sloking beat him. Oh, hell yeah. I know Sloking, if he's followed me on Twitter for a while, I don't know, I didn't know if he was like, uh, like a competitor, or just like a Melee fan. That's cool though. Number one in Iowa. I did not know that. That's dope to see him pick up. Like that's a, that's a decent win. I need to take a game off of, uh, Koyashi. No, that was, I got him confused with, oh no, that's Bobby Frizz. But da da bum 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 the game off of Morse as well. And almost beat. Wow, yeah. Let's go Slow King. Out of here making moves. Hmm. Yeah, but a very interesting... Like, I don't know the interdynamics between these people. It seems like also... Re I feel like I haven't heard anything from Reeve this year. Um. Almost beat... Kel Kels was at this tournament? What did Kels do? Where's Kels? Yeah, wait, where... Where is Kells? Rick is down here. Lost to Ben. Oh, actually, that makes sense. Jake and Shaken beats Foxes. The boy Danny Phantom. Blendtec, baby. The more the further Kells at ninth. Oh, am I? I'm just blind. Game Boy Junior and Papa. Who's Game Boy Junior? Who's Papa? This is this is like wow. I did not realize how much is going on. This is a very cursed bracket. Like not cursed in like. A bad way, kind of? Wait, is this picture like a... Is it a... What? Why is he eating that Bulbasaur? This is such a weird... Weird tournament. I don't know why the, the word Heracross escaped my mind. That is... Yeah, like I was saying, I don't know much about the inter interplay and dynamics between these guys but this feels like a super odd readout for a lot of these players from my like general perception of how good i think they are like definitely like i thought morris was good but there's so many players he he outplaced here and like not necessarily you know, again placing super doesn't uh uh schmatter as they say but what was that it was looking yeah this is a weird tournament this is a very weird tournament Gen 2, catch them all, glitchless speed run. Man. <laughs> You're just out here throwing the gauntlet down. I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here with my... Actually, I want to see, because the guy I'm supposed to play against, he said he was, like, studying tonight. He might not be able to play me. I just want to do my match. Cool. Um, no. Okay, let me let me talk about actual melee and do that. But I think that's pretty much it for House of Pain. I kind of... As someone who knows the internet dynamics between these players a little bit better is going to be able to get something out of it. But this just seems like a super, super weird tournament that... Uh, Jake and Chicken made me top eight. 
Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of taken aback because I, again, like all this stuff I like briefly look at before I start the stream, but I did not, I thought this was just like, oh, it was lucky Morse code and Spark here. And then I noticed Moki and then I noticed Dreffin. And then I noticed Jake and Jake and, and Kells and Reeve and Zamu. It's like, there's, and Bobby Frizz, there's so many talented players here that I, from my general perception of them, are underperforming. So I think underperforming, yeah, there's so many people it feels like they underperformed here. Yeah, I think that's really all I have to say about that. That's wild, though. There's a there's a lot of talented people there and a lot of pe talented people underperformed, which is good for the players who did perform, a la Morse Code. Yeah, so I think the biggest winner there is Morse Code, and I guess lucky for winning the tournament and making the money. Yeah. Um, so now we over at Canada Cup, which again, I was saying at the top of the show, there was, there's a, how big of the prize pool was for Melee? Uh, I, I won't be, yeah. $2,500 prize pool for Melee and no one, and the best player, and like the drop off was S2J Bladewise Soonsei? That's nuts. Why, why aren't people showing up for this? That's absolutely not. I'm I'm so confused. SP I believe is a Fox main. He played against, ba 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 ba. Yeah, uh, British Fox main. Yeah. Do 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 do. I believe. I'm assuming he's the Fox in this clip. In that, I don't know why I don't follow SP. I'll take care of that. Um. Yeah, British Fox main. British. Nah. B b b. Canadian. I literally cannot read. Um. Crackers is a god. Never heard of Crackers before either. Let's find out who Crackers is. No, I guess we're not going to find out who Crackers is. Um, yeah, but I, I really, like, after that, unlike unlike House of Pain, there's really not much of a fall off here. S2J winning this tournament is no surprise at all. Um, hopefully he's got his controller issues sorted out that he mainly... Uh, oh, Crackers is a peach main? Is that all we know? Do we know where he's from? Yeah, actually, Jazz, if you're, you're saying Crackers is a god, let me know more about him. Um, but yeah, I really don't. Behind these four, excuse me. And I guess now Crackers, wait, SJ only won six sets? Yeah, I imagine with how many how many people are here. 40 players? There's that huge of a pop bonus, there's 40 players? What is going on? Guys. Melee players! Canadian Melee players! Why was Moki- Why didn't Moki go to this? Why did Moki go to the House of Pain? Moki could, I imagine, made a whole lot more money here. Yeah, I mean, it's great for us today. Good for him. I'm just so confused. Where's Bladewise based out of? Washington? Yeah, Blade. I, I don't know the geography of Canada. Yeah, same and the same thing happened at G GTX as well. Well, EGX, EGX, like at least there was like big, big top players there. GTX, GTX might be what you're confusing it with because GTX had, I think it says on the main page. Yeah, GTX had a thousand dollar pop bonus, and Meds was the one. It was Meds logos, Ty Fizz. Like, what is going on? People want to make money from Melee, and no one's showing up to these events. Maybe the pop bonus was announced after? I, I hope so. It just seems like... It just feels weird. It feels, like, ridiculous. And I guess uh, Cody was going to be going out to this IBDW. Uh, I forget why he had to cancel last minute. But it just seems so so wild. Canada Cup was just badly advertised? Yeah, with 40 players there. Still, like... If you're a high level competitor, like someone, y'all gotta, like, it was on the Smash calendar. Like, I, I was aware that it was happening and I'm not, like, attending events. Yeah, now that's, that's, I, I, a little confusing for me, Delta Realm. And the thing, the thing, even, even if it was poorly advertised and stuff like that, the thing that is, you should be upset about, um, I don't know. I, I don't know where I'd even put put this blame. I don't know. But if something say something like this happens, there's a huge pop bonus and no one shows up. Like that means these pop bonuses are gonna go away and there's gonna be even less money in melee. Like having forty people show up to this. Uh, I don't know who's running Canada Cup. If it's like the big Canadian tos. I mean, it looks like it's a many events. That's a that's like a a 
Like, if I if they do Canada Cup next year, and like, oh, no one showed up for Melee, we're just going to cut the money for that. That that is that is very very concerning, and especially the fact that it might be like they didn't advertise it enough, so it's like kind of their fault that no one showed up. But I really hope it doesn't end up like melee doesn't end up getting punished for this. But that just makes me I don't know yeah so I'm upset, but I don't know who exactly I should be conglomerate. Okay yeah, but so I'm upset, but I don't know who I should be upset about. And it's so weird, too. Like, even if there was... Because the thing that just came to my mind is, like, oh, it's a conspiracy, so they can keep money in Canada. They're they're only going to tell about Canadian players to that. Uh, but SJ, SJ from California and Bladewise from Washington were the top two finishers. Like, I'm just, I'm just very... And I think I, I talked about this, like, last week, uh, the show, when I was like, there's no one signed up for these events. This is ridiculous. That just... It, it upsets me, cause I, and again, it upsets me, because there's really nothing to talk about beyond that from this event. Like, yeah, S2J beat Bladewise, Bladewise beat everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> That's so wild. And I'm thankful, because I, I probably wouldn't have known about this tournament to kind of harp on that a little bit more. Uh, I wouldn't have known about this tournament without the Smash calendar, and I know there are very valid complaints Um SJ was flown out. Bladewise won a qualifier. That's man, damn. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I don't know who I should be. I, probably the Canada Cup organization. Um, yeah, but I, I'm, that's why I'm glad we have things like the Smash Calendar because I probably wouldn't have known about the event with how poorly it was advertised. Damn, that's a really because Canada Cup. I think I yeah, Canada Cup and GTX. I believe it was it was it two years ago where we had the Muta King Laughing Grand Finals. Like, Canada Cup, and then we had Armada HBox, probably one of the best Armada HBox sets. Um, not in, I mean, Evo, Evo is probably the best Armada uh, HBox set, but like one of the the best Armada HBox sets at GTX a couple years ago. Canada Cup 2017, they were both in 2017, I believe. Yeah, but like two, these tournaments were incredible before, and I guess that's like kind of the greater decline of melee. But it it's so it feels it feels real bad, man. Yeah, so that's that's really it for Canada Cup. I'm just angry. Um, and then last we have GTX. Really, again, same same exact kind of thing. Okay, P. I don't know if he's showed up to other stuff. Pikachu main's really dope. I don't know if he's done anything else this year. Is he from around there? Utah. Yeah, that makes sense. But Utah's best player. Yeah. I, I, it made sense a lot that GTX died or got downgraded a little bit, but I'm surprised there's still so much money in the pot for that. That's nuts. They had that one dude who was, like, the GTX guy, like, super, super advertising it. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> let's scroll up. Oh, God. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, but it... I Let me let me just... Because he said something... It was something about the Utah PR here. Let me... <laughs> Wii U rankings. Yuck. Wait. So it links to the Utah PR, but there's no Utah Melee PR on this page. Uh, -huh. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Yeah. Wait, and then, okay, I'm so confused about what's going on. Yeah, the refusal advertise is, is really to Logos is number one. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, that's cool. At least there there's money in the... Logos is number one in Utah. Actually, let me just not be a jackass. Okay, this looks like it'll probably be updated. Cool. Yeah. So Logos, OKP, Blue Jay, Misto. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and Vince bringing it back for Tri State. Where's Fizz from? I recognize that. Chillin' Dude and his Mario? I have no clue. The only the the best Mario's in the world are uh, no is totally butts is number one and I don't care about anyone else. Totally butts is now my boy. Fizz is from Colorado. Yeah, that makes sense. Mango, mango. Yeah, that actually, guys, my my uh my top six for the year is uh mango, then mango, then mango. <laughs> That's <laughs> I've I've had that joke in my head joke in my head for like weeks but i didn't know how how to how to tweet it or something like that what about army 
And it doesn't, Army's number one in our hearts. Uh, totally Butts probably didn't make the uh, the thousand, I can imagine. And Totally Butts team with you? That's really, really cool. Because uh, Drug and Deuce Maggot, I don't know if you're here when I was talking about uh, Gucci Gang a couple weeks ago when I was there. But him, well, he was at the, the Wednesday Melee thing in Maniunk. And, like, I met him there. And then uh, he we recognized each other from that. And we played, I played, like, four hours of friendlies against Mario. Like, I learned a whole lot about Mario at Gucci Gang. Not that that's going to help me playing against anyone besides him because there's like three Mario mains in the world, but. And to Totally Butch just seems like a really cool dude. Big fan. Yeah, it was like him and High Ruler that were us hanging out with there. Doc and Mario are almost the same. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's it for GTX. GTX, uh, nothing really happened. Meds came and he won a. A metric ton of money, and it looks like... I mean, that's good for the Utah scene, so hopefully they can travel out to other places. He, I didn't know he's a, he's a customer service rep for a place that sells Mustang parts. That's crazy. Wait, that walking, talking Stephen Hawking is a tag? That's sick. Um, Yeah, but that's that's pretty much it. So this weekend we had... We, we had three whack tournaments. in Two in the same way, one. So we had the whackness of... Uh, 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 we had the whackness of House of Pain for a lot of players underperforming and Morse code pulling it out like the homie uh, and doing that. Actually, let me pull, for those of you who are just tuning in, excuse me, I don't know why my tea and water is making me so uh, burpy. Uh, the results of House of Pain, the only tournament you really need to be paying attention to this weekend. Um yeah, long live Samus. Morse code is, is looks like he's the new champion of Samus now. I guess Hugs will be there, and Hugs is moving. I think someone said that Hugs on his stream either today or yesterday announced that he's moving back to the West Coast. So hopefully we'll we'll see we'll see Prime Hugs again. We'll see Stop Twenty Hugs again. But this is the only real tournament that you that really matters for this weekend. Oh, is that is that Ben Minnesota Ben? Like the the Ben that beat a. Yeah, I just know him as Minnesota Ben. But thank God we'll, we'll see Hugs back on the West Coast. Must be so hard to be S-Fat? Yeah, because you do really well, and people are like, oh, yeah, that's what S-Fat does. And then he loses to one puff. He's like, wow, S-Fat's the worst player in the world. I think he should be, like, 20th. And every, and then they, for all that's all the people who refuse to look at his results. And then you look at S-Fat's results, and like, damn, S-Fat's really good. He's been really good. Hugs will win dream hack in his dreams yeah this tournament is whack we definitely do need more samus we need like swooper and Gumi and all those boys to hold it down and we need we need gavin i need to start gavin's gotta start grinding the samus so he can be the best samus in the world or what let's get ycz or get kb let's get the melee stat samuses out here um yeah so that that pretty much does it for the recap uh <laughs> I don't think no, I don't Daniel San should not there are many statements tonight that Daniel San is probably uh should have been timed out for, but Hugs will win Dreamhack is the most reasonable thing he said all night. Okay, time him out for the Ryan Ford. <laughs> don't uh, uh yeah, I don't know. Uh Dady was the first one that came to my mind. I can't think of any other Samuses. Outside of though outside of Dady. Hmm. <laughs> Three seconds, nice. Um, yeah, Hugs did win a dream hack, beating, picking up good wins over Magi. Um, yeah, so what I was going to say now that we've done, like, the recap portion of the show, I was just going to briefly talk about the two tournaments we had this weekend, which are surprisingly pretty stacked. Genesis Black, uh, obviously much more stacked than the Emma Memorial. Um, Tri-State is, I mean, less Tri-State, more New England is really, really good. Um, but pretty, pretty decent depth of talent here. A lot of names, uh... Ko Doran, Ko Doran, remind me if I'm saying that, oh, Curve's gonna be here, Sice gonna be here, Koopa Troopa, damn, there's a, there, there's a lot of good, oh, Saka, he, I forget if he's still currently a Melee Stats member, member, but I recognize his name from that, Gumi, this is looking like it's gonna be a good tournament, Slime's gonna be there, and he's playing Melee and Ultimate, yeah, I ain't breaking the top 100, um, Bimbo. Oh, is this, this doesn't, is this Bimbo Mexico? Oh, that is, why is Bimbo all the way down here? Also, why don't I follow Bimbo? Also, why did I just close the page for the tournament? 
<laughs> Daniel, I thought you were the other Dan. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I got very confused. That's like the first match. Yeah, there's. This is gonna be a tournament. Android Zero. Hell yeah. Wait, Android Zero. Is that you, Android Zero? <laughs> Mr. Android Zero in the chat. Yeah, but this is looking to be a very interesting tournament. Nah, I don't. Like, touching the keyboard, that's gross. I like my my left hand is for drinking beverages and my right hand is for clicking on things. I don't need keyboard commands when I'm streaming. I need free access to my beverage. Esther J wins free? No, I think S Fat's do that. S Fat's beaten um uh, if I remember correctly, S Fat's beaten Esther J this year. Ba bum bum bum. Maybe I just have too much fate. Lucky knocks out S Fat. Dude, I dude, S Fat's good. S Fat's gonna win this. 3-5 on S2J this year. How's he on Lucky? Um, O2 on Lucky, maybe. West Ball's return? Yeah, West Ball, West Card would do it. Oh, I saw your egg, Daniel. I think that that's the one you're referring to. I did see egg. Um, yeah, I think any one of S2J could win it. s could win it. Lucky, West Ball's. Maybe Mike. Mike. Mike's hot and cold. I'd say probably any one of these five guys can probably win it. Chillin' Dude could not win it. Chillin' Dude can still win Genesis, and here's how. My money's on, I, I, Daniel Sun, I do agree that S-Fat, it's probably S-Fat, S-Fat, or S-2J are the big, big, big boys here. Mm. Yeah, but it's looking to be a very interesting tournament. Like I said at the top of the show, I might be doing a pre-game, post-game coverage of that. You, the, so you don't miss that, I'd imagine you just want to follow me on Twitter or, uh, Twitch. Most likely, uh, it would just be a pre-game on uh so let me see is there any sort of stream schedule here i've not looked more into that um oh melee's just saturday oh that's kind of cool i wish there was some schedule for it uh to give me a better idea of what it what it looks like oh wow sick rules too this is such a raw group competing Mm -hmm. save is one now yeah but this this looked pretty interesting so uh yeah if it's on saturday maybe i'll do like a post game wrap-up show um yeah i don't know I, i'm definitely gonna play that a year i'll let you guys know about this but this tournament is looking really really dope and even if i don't do a pre or post game show next uh next uh, obviously next monday we'll be talking about it on the ranking show uh that one might be a little bit earlier than normal yeah because i have a concert to go to Snom with a gun. What are you talking about? What is Snom? Is Snom one of those new Pokemon? What is this? Why? I'd rather have Egg as an emote. I'd rather Egg. Poing moong moong moo. Okay. Uh, so what, oh yeah, and there's also the MO, I got too detracted, distracted by whatever newfangled Pokemon, what kind of boomer, zoomer Pokemon is that? Um, here are the commenters, top eight problem, chillin' dude. Daniel, I really, are you highly intoxicated? Like, are you okay, Daniel? I think the biggest mystery of today is what's going on with Daniel. Yeah, I, I only looked at some of the leaks. Well, I guess for y'all who are fans of Pokemon, you'll you'll be seeing Save is Untitled. Uh, I, like I generally don't think my English is great. Let Daniel live. All right, no, I'm, I'm I'm I have no problems. I just want to make sure he's like okay. No, don't time him out. I just want to make sure he's like alive. You know. Um, yeah, but there's also the M.O. Memorial Tournament, which I think I'm either, I might make like a combo video just talking about Genesis Black and M.O. just like, kind of like a when's melee kind of thing, because I can't imagine the brackets are going to be out by any reasonable time, so I won't really get to talk about projected matchups, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm ranking show even though I have the lab from, oh yeah, hell yeah, Sean. Glad glad i you could make it out but yeah there's a lot of uh a lot of really good players in new england the the depth of town is pretty pretty deep uh ibdw coming out i think he said this might be one of his last like 
Well, I guess this is a big East Coast tournament. That's why he's coming out for it now that he's moving over to the West Coast. Um, it'd be cool to see. Um, are there a lot of spaces? I don't know how Calvar does against Toussaint, but with there being a lot of spaces here, uh, this is, Calvar could make a run. Calvar could put up, pick up some really good wins. Vortex. Um, <laughs> oh, Vortex. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of top player Yasu, Project, he was probably still in the chat, Stock, The Boy, The Money, Dr. Lobster, Fable, Sheik, the number two or three player in Philadelphia PR, Dawson also on the Philadelphia PR, Tri-State's Tri -State's coming out, Tri-State's coming out, and hopefully Dimension, I believe also on the Philly PR, Slug on the Philly PR, Tiramisu, Tri-State player. There's a lot of really, really good players here. Glock and my Toyota, sick tag, even better player. Bofa Soap, who just put out his, uh, put out a combo video today. What's my stream schedule? I stream, yeah, I stream every Monday at 7 p.m. Actually, I can show this off. Boom, 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 boom. Why am I humming the ultimate theme? I'm, I'm a real gamer. Um, I've been getting better at updating it recently, but right below, if you scroll down below your stream, oh, is the link broken? Why is the link broken? Ah, damn it, the link's broken. This, this is the link. Oh, it should be working. I don't know why it's not. Are these, okay, Some for some reason it's, it's. I just, it's a bitly because the Google Calendar link's really long and I, I'll set it up a little bit better. Um, I was really confused why no one was looking at the calendar or saying anything about it. Um, I'll fix the bit.ly link in a second um, when I when I get done the stream. But I, I have, like, my stream schedules. I always am going to stream 7 p.m., even though I think next week I might be doing the, the ranking show a little bit earlier. Um, but all of my stuff I have, like, basically all scheduled out. All of my streams, like, I play... The new thing now is that I play, like, random games on Tuesday night. I'm finishing up playing Undertale for the first time over across the last two weeks. Uh, yeah, Ranking Show Undertale. And then I'm still looking, uh, if anyone can give me or a link to or any more information, either in the YouTube comments or in Twitch chat now, um, I'm gonna be playing a, a randomizer, not a randomizer, I'm gonna be playing a blind Nuzlocke of Sword and Shield when it comes out. So hopefully that'll be, like, Thursday afternoon. If anyone knows what I was saying to get, uh, what, how it works for getting, I'm getting Shield right, because I ran, I ran a poll. For those of you who hasn't, haven't joined already, exclamation point Discord, I ran a poll on, uh, on what what game? Yeah, I, I'm getting shield because the people voted for me to get that. But I'm doing a blind nuzlocke. So if anyone knows uh, how to deal, how to do the thing where you pre-order from a different region so you can download it early, uh, let me know. Or if you know instructions to that, link me to that because I want to get it early so I can stream on Thursday. Um, yeah, well, I have no I have no free will, so someone else chose for me. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much about it. It's finishing up with that uh, shilling. Oh yeah, we can go. Can briefly talk about this. Actually, no, I already talked about that. Uh, yeah, dude. I I want. I voted for Sir Farfetched. I voted for Sword just for that. Dady is forty three, right where he belongs. Yeah, but this this whole ranking thing is is dumb. Any sort of elo rankings or stuff like that. Nia, what's up? About to go in. Swoopers up here, Shinobi. Oh, you give me Sir Farfetch? Well, I don't want to trade to like Ducks 19. If Duck, Duck would get ranked, he'd probably be there, like a little bit lower. I think Duck might not make it for inactivity. Yeah, it's just bad ELO rankings. <laughs> Clearly, rewards activity. Solo battle with four sets is 25. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll trade you any Pokemon you need, but I don't want to, like, be like, oh, man, I'm struggling on this Nuzlocke. And then I come for the ne next day of the stream. Wow, some random person traded me for level 100 Pokemon. I guess I win now. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes. I'm excited, though. I, I, I miss playing Nuzlocke because I've done... Wait, let me... Oh, I'll, I'm going to end the official show. Um... 
I'm going to end the official show, uh, do like a formal that, and I want to show y'all a clip before I go in and run ads Well, talking about my Nuzlocke's before. So this is, you YouTube people, this is why you got to show up for the stream because you're missing this extra save content. And also, I'm going to be doing some net play after this as per tradition on all my streams now. Well, I guess all my like melee ranking streams, I like ending with some net play. Um, so I'll also, yeah, if anyone, any, any subs in the chat who want to play net play with me, uh, go over to the Discord and go into the... Uh, private sub channel and send me a uh, send me a net play code um, but uh, for the people who are on YouTube uh, thank you for showing up to watch this episode of the ranking show uh, it is streamed every week 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time unless uh, said otherwise you can check the schedule which I will also put in the link of the YouTube video um, for my stream looks like but really to keep up with when I'm streaming best way is to follow me on Twitch follow me on Twitter and join the discord because I always post on the tw on Twitter and on discord when I go over the stream but again thank you for showing up if you have any concerns compliments complaints everything about that about the ranking show or anything I'm doing in the future leave a comment down below I read everything uh, or if it's something you'd rather like DM me about or something like that my DMs on Twitter are open so I've been saved untitled I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next